Welcome back, everyone. Some welcome news in this article, hopefully, for a for some people out there, especially if you're looking to buy a house. Um, like uh, many people have been complaining uh, about the ever increasing house prices in Korea. I think I started hearing people complaining about this yeah. four years ago, maybe? Three or four years ago, quite yeah. some time ago. Um, and it's, it's been going on, it's been getting worse. Um, and people started to really get worried, you know, what if this never ends? What if it just continues to climb and climb exponentially? So some people um, dove in and uh, just paid the higher prices for fear that it would be driven uh, disproportionately high in the near future. Uh, we've talked about rising interest rates um, and uh, again, just people's general fear of the future might have caused them to throw caution to the wind and uh, jump into the housing market. Mm -hmm. However, now there is a, um, a downturn in the rise. So uh, uh, what was a rising interest rate uh, is now uh, falling. Of course, for those who uh, bit the bullet um, and uh, invested or took out a loan to invest in a house, uh, they are now um, uh, slightly worried by this situation, uh, their uh, loans uh, repayments uh, could be uh, about to grow uh, with the rising interest rates. Mm -hmm. So it depends, I guess, where you are in your housing situation. For some, this might be really good, mu good news. They might be looking forward to a rosy future. Mm -hmm. But for some, this might be quite troubling, mm -hmm. worrying news. Yeah. Yes, so I think they have to brace for the worst. Mm -hmm. Now, um, I did notice a little bit. Uh, you did say falling interest rates. Ah, did yeah. I say falling? <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I know what you meant, mm -hmm. but yeah. Uh, it is rising uh, housing prices, or falling housing prices, rising interest rates. Sorry. So I just did the same thing. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Well, Thank you for we're not economic majors. Um, yes. <laughs> yeah, please. Or homeowners. <laughs> or homeowners, mm. yeah. Do you believe that the pullback in home prices is good news for prospective homeowners? Right now, no. And mm -hmm. the only reason I don't think it's uh, good for prospective homeowners right now is because the reason the prices are dropping is because the interest is too high. So no one wants to buy a house. Mm -hmm. um, it's not affordable. Mm -hmm. So right now, it's not good news. But when that interest rate falls after the housing prices get to a stable level, mm -hmm. At that point, it will be good news. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the interest rate has to come down first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, so we're still a step away. Yeah, we're still. Uh, yeah, we're still a step away, and that step might be a long one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So maybe yeah. many steps. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting too yeah. excited for people. Do you, did you ever read that book of uh, he puts on the boots and he can walk twenty thousand leagues in each step? I forget that oh, name. No. It's an old children's book, and it was pretty good. Why mm -hmm. will recent developments have a disproportionate effect on different regions in the country, I think, yeah, uh, compared to Seoul? Yeah. I mean, I think this comes down to just rich and poor. Mm -hmm. There will be parts of the parts of Seoul, let's just look at Seoul, parts of Seoul that will have a higher income ratio, mm -hmm. and therefore the interest rates may not affect them as much. And there will be some that are um, a little bit on the poorer side or um, less disposable income, so the interest rates will hit them harder. Mm -hmm. But another big problem is education. Mm -hmm. People move to certain parts of the country, uh, of the city um, and country, but certain parts of the city for their child's education. And these interest rates already were hard for them. Mm -hmm. And now they have to deal with such a high rise. It's going to be um, very deleterious to their uh, entire situation of living and education. And it might force some people to move. Mm, yes. Yeah. If they're on right on the edge as it is, this could push mm. them over the edge. Yeah. Let's take a closer look at the vocabulary we've looked at in this article. See you next time. Disgruntled. Disgruntled. Deleterious. Deleterious. Disposable income. Disposable income. Disproportionate. Disproportionate. Rosy. Rosy.